first thing I want to talk about is location. I put it here in this spot because it's uh, probably about 100 feet from the house, not too close, not too far away. And I'm able to get to it from the tractor. If I put it over this way, I wouldn't be able to get in there very easily. I want to just be able to dump whatever I need to dump in there or shovel whatever I need to shovel in there. Also, I wanted access around the whole thing. We don't necessarily have a garden just yet, but I felt like putting this here created the space maybe and uh, kind of gave me a cornerstone for my garden. So that's location. I did build it on a hillside because we live on a hill. And so that was a little bit of work. A tip that I would give is when painting for your uh, layout, overpaint your corners. That way you can kind of see what you're doing as you're digging out the paint in your box area. The overspray will show you where your line was. Next thing that we that I did was pallets. These pallets I found second hand. They're really heavy duty. They are heat treated. If you check the label, look for the HT. Um, this one on label was pretty hard to find. There was only one on seven of them. Uh, these are HT or MB. Um, MB is methyl bromide. You don't want to use that in a compost area because it's sprayed with chemicals for bugs and stuff if they come over um, borders and such. When it came to the attachment at these two pallets in the backside, I went with bolts. Uh, I had them laying around, so I've been looking for an excuse to use them. They are reused, just like most everything here. <laughs> When it came to fasteners, I used screws going through the posts here into the stickers or bats here and uh, it seemed to work out pretty well. I did go pretty heavy and put about uh, four to five running down that thing. These things here come incredibly handy. <laughs> We'll go with the um, screw through the uh, main, I guess I'm calling it a post, I guess sticker. We'll screw through there. This time though, we'll have two pieces to attach to. So. so once I got the pallets up and uh, screwed together, they had a little bit of movement at the ground. Plus, once I start putting compost in there, I was afraid of it blowing out, you know, in movement. So I put in steel stakes. Uh, you could go with the different method, um, rebar cut down and pound it in, or even um, galvanized pipe of some sort with like a two hole clamp or a two hole strap that goes in there. Could go one in the front. I decided to just go one on each side just to give this a uh, little bit better look up front. The nice part about concrete stakes is they have these holes in them for attaching boards for forming up. So they'll come in pretty handy here. They don't necessarily have to do this because if there's two in between there, it's gonna hold it pretty tight. I'm just gonna throw some screws in there. These braces here, also some lumber I had just sitting around um, left over. I felt that the Stakes at the bottom did a good job doing what they're doing, but also at the top, I was afraid that once this thing gets filled up, there's just gonna be lots of movement. I guess it's just my background. It's just make it strong, make it don't move. That's just what I'm used to doing. So it uh, seems pretty solid to me now. <laughs> So 
So in order to get this thing over-engineered, Oh yeah, I did put in a two by four in between these two stickers um, to give me something to screw to in the center. It's not pretty, but it's already not extremely pretty but it is functional and it does do what it was intended to do. All righty, now let's talk about these fronts here. It's called corral lumber, really just rough cut, uh, dug fur. Looks pretty nice, uh, one and a quarter inch thick. Just kind of added to the rustic theme of the uh, rough looking pallets. I put these in, but before I did that, I added a uh, three quarter inch piece of redwood in between. Uh, screwed that onto the pallet and then I screwed this onto the face of that, flushing that with the edges of the um, pallets as best I could. No, no, hang on, I need you to look out because I'm gonna make a cut and it's gonna get... So this over here is a um, rip guide that you can put on your skill saw. Comes in really handy because you're able to turn your table or your skill saw into a table saw. Need to stay back, it's gonna be loud. So now that brings us to these boards. Like I said, when I put these on, I spaced it with a three quarter inch piece of redwood. These are uh, dog-eared fence boards that I had left over from a project. I, uh, I only did one side of the fence instead of two. So I took these and uh, cut them down to fit in between here with about a half inch gap. We are with dog and child, so hopefully this will keep the dog out. I don't know about the kid, she was climbing up over it the other day. And that's what went into building our compost bin out of pallets, plus a little extra. I think I might have went a little bit overboard, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. <laughs>